Good afternoon, everyone. I welcome all the my media friends uh, for coming to this press meet. Uh, we are representing the Ministry of Youth Affairs, Government of India. Uh, we are gathered here from Sai Sports Authority of India, National Center of Excellence, Jimpu. Uh, in our midst, we have Sri Chatterjit Kachari. He is the Assistant Director of uh, and Chief Operating Officer from Sai NCO Jimpu. And among us, we also have our youth icon, Miss uh, Tadu Lunyaji. She is also our reigning Miss Arunachal. She represented our state in the Miss Femina Miss India 2024. And I myself, I'm C. Dangmai, District Youth Officer from Nehru Yuva Kendra slash My Bharat, uh, Minister of Youth Affairs. Aneka Maksat, today our topic is, I mean, regarding the National Youth Festival 2025, New Delhi. Uska, regarding, we would wanted to uh, give info, disseminate some informations regarding the same. So, First of all, I would give the time to our respected sir to brief on the festival. And sir. Good afternoon, everyone. National Youth Festival is celebrated everywhere, every year, and it is conducted under the Ministry of Youth Affairs and Sports, Government of India, and being the, under the same organization. Sports Authority of India, SAI, and Nehru Yuba Kendra. We together promoting, trying to promote the Government of India schemes related to youth affairs and sports. Particularly, this National Youth Festival 2025, it is going to be held in New Delhi on 11th and 12th January 2025. In this regard, we urge our print and digital media to spread the awareness among the youths of Arunachal, being our center is located in Itanagar, Arunachal Pradesh. We, along with NYK and our youth icon, Mr. Arunachal, we would like to request the youths of Urunachal as a whole and also of the country because youth are the power of the nation and youths have many talented talents part of the youths and they can show their showcase their talents through some competitions or National Sports Festival, sorry, National Youth Festival is the platform to showcase, to show their talents, to, to show their hidden talents. And it can be also in future a career. Ms. Urnason, she is from, she is having some other talent and maybe some singer, some dancer, some cultural part and some in sports, being our sports organization, Sports Authority of India, we are promoting sports through various schemes of the government of India. Our, the present government, government of India is emphasizing to promote the youth so that they can uplift the nation through their activities, through their talents and like on. The youth have many multiple talents in their fields. They can lead the nation. This year, you might have seen, it is written, empowering youth to lead. Youths can lead the nation. Youths are the power of the nation. It may be 
in sports culture likewise i just mentioned little before singing dancing writing etc they can make reach the nation through their talents and national sports national youth festival is the one of the best platform for the youth to lead the nation and to make india a full fully developed nation by 2047 this is the motto this is the target aim of the government of india thank you uh, moving forward i would like to uh, brief on the the components of the festival is sal ka kya re design kiya hai in the previous years we used to have only the physical mode of uh, competitions and we send district level se jo jit ke jata hai they will represent in the state level and state level se jo jit ke jayega they will compose the state a uh, team and then they go to the national youth festival but this year uh, with the new government the government has redesigned reimagined as a uh, uh, vixit bharat young leaders uh, dialogue 2025 so this will be held on january 11 to 12 two days program at the bharat mandap uh, in new delhi so the different thing for this year is uh, this is uh, this year we are organizing in a hybrid mode that is digital platform and then physical platform the the way the uh, regular competitions the physical mode that will be that will continue uh, but the addition is digitally through my bharat portal we going to start a, a competitions where anybody within the age group of 15 to 29 years that is the defined age of youth in our national youth policy they can participate by sitting at their home or from their schools or from anywhere else just by using their mobile phone so uh, that component is called vixit bharat challenge and there will be three rounds one round is in the round one you will be given a quiz Uh, in a basic knowledge testing your knowledge on the uh, uh, landmark achievements of a country in the past 10 years so basic quiz will be given once you clear that you will go to the st- second round that is uh, big set uh, i mean uh, uh, essay writing there will be 10 teams brought 10 10 teams for example take technology for big set bharat empowering youth for big set bharat that sort of uh, themes will be given so in that 10 themes uh, the participants will have to submit their essays and once you clear that uh, round 2 you go to the third round that is a ppt challenge based on the essay submission that you have uh, submitted you will be given a platform and opportunity to present in the state level and once that uh, you clear that round you will be uh, selected for the is uh, national youth festival representing the state so this component is a new addition this year uh, where anybody any young people can sit at their home or with their friends and they just uh, click from their phone or um, a computer and participate in the national youth festival uh, we uh, that, that is uh, called vixit bharat challenge and then the third addition this year is uh, youth young activists young activists who have achieved something in their uh, various diverse fields maybe in sports in uh, arts culture or uh, in any entrepreneur journey uh, any fields that will be uh, they will be called to the national youth festival so there are three verticals basically one the physical the regular way of selection in the physical mode that is actually happening right now across the country even in arunachal Uh, three districts have already uh, completed the district level competition uh, i tirab uh, itanagar and papumpore has completed and the rest of the districts are also uh, ongoing so from the district level to the state level probably uh, tentatively 18 to 19 december that regular competition uh, state level competition is being scheduled and in that way from the s- s- uh, uh, state level you will be uh you know selected for the national level so that is another component of that uh, yuva utsav that is called yuva utsav so these three verticals uh, uh 
composed of, I mean, that will tally up total into 3,000 participants uh, from across the country. They will be called in the National Youth Festival. So these are the various competitions that is uh, being laid out for the uh, youth of this country. And I appeal to all the young peoples of this, uh, our beautiful state to take maximum participation. And uh, I now would like to give uh, time to our Miss Arunachal to <coughs> motivate the young people and take participation. Yes, thank you so much, Professor Namaste, and thank you so much for having me here. The message that I would like to share to each and every person watching this is, we are the current generation and we are the future as well. I know that there's a lot of uh, budding individuals out here, be it small competitions that we see in the district level and community level. We see that there's this uh, brainstorming of ideas amongst the youth of Arunachal. We see that there's a lot of talent in there, but we need better platforms. Right now with this initiative, I think it's a very great and powerful initiative to be able to encourage and empower such young minds. I encourage each one of you sitting back home that right now sir has properly uh, briefed on the three verticals and the three main different ways where you can participate here and be an active youth of the country. So I would encourage each one of you for their active participation and um, also to let people around you know about such platforms so that with, with better awareness and with the power of the youth of our nature, you can see much better participation in national level. Thank you. Uh, we, we can take some questions if anybody has questions. The participants from the district and the world level. I mean, in terms of the there are many of them with the part of the interview. So how do you organization with uh, those places where network connectivity is an issue, they can actually take part in the physical mode uh, which is being organized in the district headquarters actually. Actually, uh, our network has two volunteers per block. For each block, we have two volunteers. Through them, we are disseminating the information and it is still an ongoing uh, process and only three districts has completed this. The rest of the districts are still in the process of organizing this one. And through the medium of our youth clubs and youth volunteers that we have uh, in our disposal, the message is being uh, uh, sent through WhatsApp, through you know, uh, taking the pamphlets to the to the areas, to the wherever they can connect. So any youths who came in touch with that information, they can actually. I encourage also to take active participation. Thank you. 